your heart is aching Smile even though it's breaking When there are clouds in the sky you get by I'd been telling um, Stephen uh, how talented my daughter was and now, you know, so, and I had also had a granddaughter and Luke, uh, the, the son, were, were, were wonderful singers. And I think it was the next day he phoned me again and said, how about doing a number, a duet with your granddaughter? And I said, well, yeah, what, what, a, what a marvellous idea. And then, of course, uh, there was the surprise because uh, Stephen thought she was about probably six, seven or eight. And when I said she was 19, 18, 19, he couldn't believe it. But he still went along with the idea. So that's, how, that's how you got the job. That's the time you must keep on trying. Smile was the use of crying. You'll find the She's so beautiful singing it, and when everybody at rehearsals, and the first time we even ran the song over, everybody shook me as well. She was so beautiful. But then I um, heard her sing at a Christmas party uh, with her mother. Uh, singing the, the Black Hills of Dakota, and I thought, I thought, well, I was about this big. You, you, you don't make excuses. <laughs> <laughs> you were very tired here, anyway. Black Hills of Dakota, <laughs> so I thought, oh, you're fine, it's okay, so she can sing a bit. Well, you know, comes from a show business family, of course, she can sing a bit, you know. But then, uh, uh, only a Last year, sometime in the last year, she'd done a couple of tracks and she'd done this number, what was it? I can never get the noise. You're no good. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good. With a real bit of bash to it. And all of a sudden, she went from this little girl, this little seven year, eight year old that I'd heard before, to a, a mature voice and a, mature, a voice that had an edge to it. And, Something, and I, I, was, I had to phone them straight away and say, this is fantastic. And I said, put her on the phone. I said, because this is the Sophie I'm interested in. This could be really, really big. And, um, and of course her voice, is, and she writes her own songs. Like a mother, a mother's always been a good writer. What's it like working with my granddad? It is very different because I've never worked with him before. Um, but you know, he's, he's shown his more professional sort of OCD side. What's OCD? I don't get that. What is it? O OCD. Old, well, old, he's got to be old something. Obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Well, I'm really shocked. <laughs> it's a compliment, though, for what you're doing. Oh, is it? Because it doesn't sound like a compliment. <laughs> She's got that warmth about her. And I think it comes out in her voice as well, which is wonderful, because lots of people can look as though they've got a, a soft side, shall we say, but underneath it, there's nothing. But she, her voice really gives you that warmness that she's got in her appearance. My relationship with my granddad, um, it's, it's, yeah, he's just my granddad. And, you know, that, that, that's all, that's all. Say really. that's all I have. <laughs> you are, but yeah, that's a good yeah, thing, I, though. Do I feel like your granddad? Sometimes not, because you're just quite very young. Oh, is well, that, is that? I was young young young. Have you all got that bit? <laughs> young, 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 young and foolish. Just doing the ad libs now. Young and foolish. You'll find that life is still worthwhile if you just smile.